Hey, hey, hey. I hope you guys enjoy these, what I'm calling podcast shorts for my burnout to all out community. This is just a little peek behind the curtain of the coaching that goes on inside of my programs. We're bringing to you some of the best nuggets and coaching I'm giving within hot seats of all of our different programs, whether it's our LinkedIn Method Academy our mini mastermind business basics, all the way up to our higher level mastermind. If you're hearing some of these questions and you're like, man, I wish I could get my burning question answered by Melissa. Hey, guess what? You could be featured on my podcast. If you've got a question that you want answered and you submit it to my team and we pick it, we will bring you here to the podcast for our podcast shorts and uh, do a hot seat with you. Where can you submit your questions? Send them to teamburnouttoallout.co. We'll make sure we drop that in the show notes for our podcast shorts. And I hope that you guys find as much value in these shorts as our clients do inside the program. Need some effective tactical advice that actually helps you get results and makes a real difference in your life and business? You've come to the right place. If you're finding yourself here today, it means you're getting ready to gain serious traction in your business, rapidly multiply your income and impact, and you're ready to make it happen while living all out. Guys, I'm Melissa Henault, your trustworthy corporate dropout turned six-figure business burnout turned happy and healthy CEO of a multi-million dollar online business, and you're listening to the Burnout to All Out podcast. On this show, we're serving up innovative growth strategies, simple implementation methods to put them into practice, and action-stimulating inspiration tailored specifically for the modern entrepreneur. Let's dive in. Joelle, how's it going, my friend? It is good. Yeah. So when we talked about content pillars and you turned it into the spoken hub, it freed me up and I can just make content all day long. So I'm looking for the same type of transformation around lives. Okay. When I've witnessed Andy and I just appreciate how consistent he is and how he's just there and he's doing that. And when I think about going live, there's a huge barrier. I do my best work when I'm live coaching, but I'm also a great teacher and I have so much to share, but I'm kind of like, do I just pick a time every week? Do I do it once a month? Do I have people sign up? Do I have to script the whole thing? Do I just riff on something? And yeah, you can hear it's like right there. I'm like, well, that sounds like a full-time job and I am not doing it because it sounds like too much work. So, okay. Free my mind, if at all possible. Yeah. So can I give you a couple ideas? And hopefully it's not too many ideas, but I'll give you a couple ideas on what we do. The first one is like a focused live training with a call to action at the end for people to opt into something. Okay. So for instance, do you have any freebies created? Yeah, I I have a couple of freebies. Okay. So here's just one strategy you could think about sprinkling throughout the year is an actual scheduled live where you're actually reviewing what's in the freebie. And then with a call to action, you're encouraging people and dropping in the chat, actually downloading that freebie, that template. So for instance, one of our freebies is the five steps to scale past your next six figures. So we ran, we promoted it as an upcoming event on LinkedIn so that we could see who was registering for it. And then I did a live training on it. I actually used the six steps as my format to train on. And throughout the training, I was saying, if you want this guide, if you want this template that I'm talking about, here's the link in the chat, download it. That's going to allow you to grab emails of people who are targeted towards wanting and needing that thing that you're talking about so that you can then reverse email market by pulling them through your LinkedIn. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's one simple one. To me, that's like, for those of you who have freebies, it is like the easiest no-brainer live because you're literally using content you already have and you're actually using it as a lead magnet for people to grab while you're covering it. It's like another one I did was like, your business planning for the year and I had a worksheet for it. So I literally walked people through my worksheet 
And the call to action was, if you want this template, you want this worksheet so you can review it every year, here's the link. Boom, grab their email. Now I have a targeted list of people who are focused on their business for business growth. Now you can reverse market them. So that's step number one. That's simple. And if you're better at presenting by having an audience, which I am, I am like horrible at just talking with nobody. Like my team will tell you, we tried a webinar one time with nobody and we stopped in the middle of it. And they're like, this is horrible, Melissa, just stop. (laughs) So if that's you, what we do for even those freebies is we actually include a Zoom link for people like in our internal community. Some of you may have attended these where we're streaming live on LinkedIn, but I have people on the Zoom. And so I'm seeing you and I'm interacting with you. I just ask that you hold your questions to the end. So it's like a clean recording, but I can see you smile. I see you taking notes. I feel like things are landing with people and I'm just a better presenter. So you can also do that. Now, not to overcomplicate it because you do not have to do that at all, but I'm just telling you that's also a way to kill two birds with one stone. Maybe you have a a group community that you want to stream it to for free, but also go live. So the other thing you can do is... If you wanted to commit to a cadence and frequency of lives around a certain topic, you can do that as well. I don't know if you've published a book or if you have an ebook or a blog post, like blog posts, but if you have back end training or methods or methodology in the way that you coach, If you feel like you're screaming into the void when you post content on Facebook or Instagram, struggling to find a sustainable and scalable lead generation process that sticks, and you just want someone who's been there and done that to reveal their secrets, then it's critical that you register to save your spot ASAP. During this live masterclass, you'll get to steal the exact strategy I used to scale my income from $0 to 1 million in just 19 months without spending a fortune on ads or suffering from burnout. Simply check out the show notes of the podcast episode for the link to register for your free spot in the LinkedIn lead gen masterclass. And don't worry. Even if you miss a couple of days or you can't make it to all the training sessions, we'll deliver the replays directly into your inbox daily so you can watch them on your own time. All you have to do is make sure you sign up for the masterclass before registration ends. Those things can very easily be broken down into like subtopics that become a series of lives. So let me give you an example So like, for instance, if I wanted to for LinkedIn, I could create like a five week, one hour a week series on revamping your LinkedIn. And each week I could cover a different topic that would follow through in the back end of what I coach in here. So maybe one of the workshops would be around who your buyer persona is. Maybe one of the workshops would be around how you format your profile. One workshop could be around how you're growing your network. So some of you already have in the back end some things structurally, organizationally that would easily turn into a series of lives that you could do. So that's, again, something that you could do that you don't have to recreate. You've already got potentially on the back end. The third thing that we've done a ton of, this is just total impromptu, and I've actually hit pause on a lot of my like live podcast recording over the past couple months, but what I've done in the past, this is a great way to kill two birds with one stone, is literally stream your podcast recording live on LinkedIn. So every live, every podcast I've ever done, and it's not... Sometimes it's scheduled, sometimes it's not. Sometimes we'll let you guys know it's coming, but it's more just off the cuff when I've got time and I'll record. I just hit the stream live button. So it's like, surprise, Melissa's going live on LinkedIn because she's recording a podcast and I'm just wanting to make sure I've got live content going out. And I do it with guest podcasts too. Like I just let my guests know in advance, hey, just make sure you're okay being on screen because we're going live with this. So that's a great way to kill two birds with one stone to do your podcast and go live at the same time. And then the content still goes to the podcast editor and gets cleaned up. And then the cleaner audio version goes out on your podcast a couple weeks later. So that's another way to go live. The last way to do lives that aren't really lives is we actually look at some of our best trending reels on Instagram and we'll repurpose them over on LinkedIn. My number one engaging post on LinkedIn, because we review our, you guys should too, we review our metrics every month. Guess what it was? 
It was a reel of me dancing in my kitchen with my son that we pulled from Instagram because it was the top performing reel and we used it on LinkedIn. It became the top performing post on LinkedIn and we turned it into an ad and it was our top performing ad for people to opt into our Build, Grow, Scale masterclass last month. So don't be afraid to go look at where you're going live and doing video elsewhere where it's performing well and try it out over on LinkedIn as well. And that also goes for any old recordings. Many of you have YouTube channels. You've got a ton of podcast recordings. You've got yourself in action coaching. And that's would be an example, Joelle, where like you're not creating anything new. You're going back into the archives and just grabbing old stuff and you can actually pipe it through as if it's live. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now I probably gave you way too many options. So what are you thinking? Yeah, it's interesting because I can feel that I appreciate all the ideas. I can feel that it's not quite landing in me, which means there's probably some really organic, not thinking so hard way that will actually serve. Tell me if this is accurate. If I can find a way to show up live and get my energy out there. No, I don't even have an end to that. I'm going to let it sit. I'm kind of like the whole concept and where it fits in the pipeline and why it matters is I think is where the mystery is. And right now my head goes, it's it's just about getting your energy out and then throw in a call to action. That's what I am leaving with. Yeah. It's like, how can people experience you from a different dimension to see you live and see you in action, hear your tone and your energy, whether it's truly live and you're literally like hitting play and going live Or if it's pulling through some of the archives and using it as live, the bottom line is how are users of LinkedIn experiencing you visibly in action and auditorily, like those two senses? Okay, cool. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you love coaching, I'll I'll say this and then we can move on. You could do some hot seat coaching. Like one of the things you could do, and any of you guys could do this in the coaching space, is like raffle off like some seats to just riff off and hot seat coach live. I've seen people do that, especially on podcast where people can just see you in action. I know a lot of folks don't want to feel scripted and their brilliance is just in the moment. So could you just bring people in and hot seat them and people see you in the moment? Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be a great way to go. And for me, it's just about, it's so personal confidentiality, but that's sort of more the direction I lean towards. Yeah. Have you heard me talk about Preston Smiles? I've seen Preston, yeah. Okay. Do you follow him on Instagram? I followed him in a couple of places, but I'm not okay. sure which ones. Well, the reason I bring this up is because you're right. Like I worked with him one-on-one and we worked on a lot of really personal stuff, but he has a way in his content of just like getting to your soul, speaking to you in a way that's very personal, but it's public and it's relatable, if that makes any sense. He just spoke in our Modern Entrepreneur last week, and it was just like some of the things he was saying was just speaking to your soul. You felt like you were the only person in the room with him. So it's like, how can you create that feeling in the feed? Mm -hmm. That's great. How can you create that feeling in the feed? That (laughs) is the mission. Yep. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks guys so much for listening in on today's podcast episode. And I can't wait for you to see my upcoming guest in the next episode. You are going to love this keynote speaker. Hey, here's the deal. If you liked this, please subscribe and leave a review. And you want the latest online business growth strategies and exclusive LinkedIn pro tips sent straight to your phone? Text the word UPDATE to 704 318 2285. That is text the word update to 704-318-2285. Can't wait to see you guys. Come find me over on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you like to hang. I cannot wait to hear how you are enjoying and applying what you're learning. You guys reach out to me over on social because I love hearing what's resonating with you. When you reach out to me and you send me those personal DMs, they really do impact the content I continue to bring forward to you. 
So again, come find me, Melissa underscore Hinault over on Instagram, Melissa Hinault over on LinkedIn and Facebook. Can't wait to see you guys over there.